Hello and um, welcome to a new favourites video. Uh, I posted one of these last month as kind of on a bit of a whim and people seem to really like it. Um, I had a lot of comments from you um, wanting another favourite and regular favourite so that was really cool. So I'm here with my July favourites. Um, hopefully the lighting is better today because I have bought myself a ring light. Uh, so hopefully the lighting is better. The background isn't the most exciting, but um, I've positioned my light so it's literally right in front of the window, so I get as much light as possible. And also Winnie is just outside in the courtyard, so I can keep my eye on her while I'm filming this video. Um, so without further ado, let's get into it. Um, I've got quite a few products to get through. Summer is always... Um, really varied with the different colours and things that I use so um, I am really excited to show you what I have been enjoying using this month. So the first thing I'm going to go through is Builder Gel. So my favourite Builder Gel for this month has definitely been Cool Gel. Last month it was extreme because it was holding its shape better than Cool Gel in the heat but it is so hot that the heat spike from Extreme is a little bit more and um, so I've been using Cool Gel. It doesn't necessarily eliminate the chance of heat spike but um, it does reduce it dramatically. So um, I can't remember what the exact percentage is um, but it reduces it by a certain percentage um, and so for that reason. I've been enjoying using it and my clients have been liking it because they're getting less of a heat spike. Next I'm going to go on to colour gels but I'm just going to touch on a specific uh, colour gel um, that I've really been enjoying this month. Um, I normally use butter creams for my nail art all the time. I love the butter creams for nail art but for some reason this month I've been reaching more for the white gel paint. I don't really know why. Um, I've just really been enjoying working with it. I think it's got a little bit more thickness to it. So some of the designs that I've been doing over the last month, I just feel like this has really suited those designs. And I've really been enjoying this one. Uh, it's taken me a little while to kind of warm to it. Uh, for me, butter creams are just the best for nail art, but I have really been enjoying this white gel paint. And now I'm going to go into the rest of the colours I've been loving. Um, I do have a few to go through because in the summer everyone loves colour and everyone loves different types of colours. So um, my colour range has been really varied this month and I've used a lot of different colours a lot of times, if that makes sense. <laughs> so um, the first one I have been loving is Surf's Up. And I would say this is my most favourite of the month. Um, it's just a really, really nice uh, pastel purple. And the reason that I love this one is that there's no hint of pink. So some lilacs, they have kind of a pinky tinge to them. And this one is just a straight lilac. And for that reason, I absolutely love it. Um, it looks great with, uh, what is the new... Is it Wipeout? I apologise if you can hear Winnie drinking water behind me. <laughs> She's just come in. It's really hot outside. She's just come in and had a bit of a drink, but hopefully you didn't hear that. <laughs> um, so yeah, I really love it. Uh, looks great with Wipeout, which is from the Surf City collection. This is also from Surf City collection. You know from my last favourites, I love this collection. Uh, it's one of my favourites ever. Um, so yeah love this one now as it's summer there are quite a few pinks in this month's favorites uh any of you that know me know i am not really a pink kind of person they're not my colors for me but they are so popular with my customers so there are actually three different pinks uh in this month's favorites um a couple of oldies and also a new one um so if you like pink you're going to be loving these favorites <laughs> The first one is a uh, pop rock in pink. This is a bit of a classic for me. It was one of the very first colors that I got from Ellie. Um, I think it was the first pink, at least it's certainly the first brighter pink that I had. Um, and it's just a really good all rounder. It's 
nice and bright but it's not too bright so it is great for everybody um old young everybody love who loves pink loves pop rock in pink it's not too bright it's not too pale um some of the bright pinks are a bit too neon for uh, some of my ladies, particularly the older ones. Um, so Pop Rock in Pink is just a really good all round. If you don't have it in your collection, I, I definitely think it is an absolute must have. Up next is a buttercream. And this one, this is should just be a favorite of the year, to be honest. Um, your churn, you just cannot go wrong with this one. Um, it's a really lovely, uh, like a movie nude color. It's just the most perfect color. It suits everybody. It looks slightly different depending on your skin tone. So on some people it looks a bit more lilac-y, um, others more nude, and others you kind of brings out that taupey gray in it. But I just love it. And it goes on so well in one coat, full coverage. Um, and this has been my most popular nude for July. Up next we have the second pink of the month and this one is Pop Lock and Drop. This one was in the spring collection and uh, I didn't really use this one that much when the collection first came out um, but they're definitely over the last month and probably a little bit into June as well um, we've been using Pop Lock and Drop quite a lot. Uh, it's darker than Pop Rock in Pink. Um, so ladies that don't even want it as bright as that, then Pop Lock and Drop is a really good option. And my last color gel of the month, and the third and final pink is Skip to My Lulu. This was in last year's spring collection. Was it the Chalk Pop collection, I think? And this is a really nice, it's, it's a paler pink, but it's still got the brightness to it, so it's really good for summer. Um, this was, as I say, in last year's spring collection, but actually I think it's a really summery uh, pale pink because it has still got that brightness to it. Looks really nice paired with some of the brighter pinks, so if you've got customers that maybe they don't want something bright on every finger because they're a bit too nervous of it, then pairing something like Skip to My Lulu with a brighter pink looks really good. Also with glitters looks really nice. Um, looks really good with actually all three of my glitter gels of the month. So uh, let's get straight into those. So the first glitter gel for the month, and um, this has been my most used most definitely and is my favorite of the month. Uh, this one is Big Diamond. There are now three diamonds in the diamond family. Uh, we have Original Diamond, Tiny Diamond and Big Diamond. Uh, Tiny Diamond is the most recent addition. Uh, but I've just been loving Big Diamond. It's got the really chunky metallic silver pieces and it looks great over anything. So you can put this over a white uh, and that's probably the way I've used it the most over the last month. Uh, but it also looks really good just painted thinly over any color because it just adds that diamond sparkle to any color of your choice. Up next is Salmon and this one is actually one of my more recent additions uh probably got this sometime earlier this year and it's really started to come out now um i didn't use it that much when i first got it but uh they've been loving it all my customers um it's a rosy gold but it's definitely more on the rosy pink side uh so for somebody like me that isn't that keen on pink you're probably not going to love this one but um, if you've got customers that love the rose golds and they like them more on the pinky side, then salmon is like the perfect choice for you. This one looks great on its own. Uh, also looks really good with pinks because of the pink tone in it, but uh, it also looks equally as good with a nude as well because it has got that rose gold tone to it, which always look absolutely stunning with nude nails. And my last color gel, glitter gel come on now glitter gel of the month is sugar coated now this one is um i just always forget about this glitter gel so 
when I use it, I love it and I end up using it on as many people as I can possibly get it on because I remember how nice it is. Um, and then it will go in the drawer, new things will come out and then I just kind of forget about it. Um, but it is honestly one of the nicest glitter gels um, that I have from Ellie. If you don't have it, I would say uh, this is kind of a must have. Um, it looks really pinky in the pot. Um, kind of like a purpley pink, so more of a cool toned pink. But again, this it's got that transparent base. It's got those iridescent pieces in it so that if you apply it over different colors, it just looks totally different. We've done it with nude, we've done it with pink, peach, coral, and it just looks beautiful with any of them. So if you don't have sugar coated, um, pop it on your list because it is honestly one of the nicest glitters. It's kind of one of those, it's really hard to explain. And when you look at it, maybe even on the screen, I don't know whether you can see just really how nice it is, but um, yeah, you've got to see this one in real life to really understand how absolutely stunning this one is. So that's it for uh, all the kind of builder color gels. And I'm now gonna go into my other favorites for the month. So more my nail art kind of things. And um, last month you would have seen that I featured the Selena Ryder nail art brushes. And someone brought to my attention that actually those brushes are not vegan, which I didn't realize. I just assumed wrongly because um, other light elegance products and their gel brushes are all vegan. I just kind of assumed that that was also the case and there's certainly nothing if people, if that's what people like to use and that's absolutely fine. Um, but many of you will know if you watch my vlogs that I am vegan and so um, that is quite important to me. And I am now looking for um, other nail art brush alternatives um, just so that I have those options to use. Um, so I have been using at the moment the Crystal Nails Zero Short Brush for my a lot of my nail art. Um, it's really, really nice. I've used this one before. Many of you will know that uh, I used to be a educator for Crystal Nails until I became allergic to a lot of ingredients and sadly that meant that I couldn't use the, um, I can't use acrylic at all and I couldn't use their gel products either. But um, this nail art brush I used to really like back then so I had a little look I had a feeling that these ones were uh, synthetic bristles so double checked it and ordered this one and really it's all I've been using for my nail art since I uh, since I bought it so I've been really enjoying this one um, definitely a good recommendation for anybody that also is looking for synthetic nail art brushes um, I'm also open to trying other ones. Uh, I wouldn't say that I've necessarily found my holy grail or anything like that. And with this being the only synthetic nail art brush that I've really tried, um, I would like to be able to try some other ones to be able to give you guys like a fair review and a fair view on them. So um, if anybody has any other recommendations for synthetic nail art brushes, um, please comment below, because uh, I would love to try them. Um, and then I can kind of come back to you and say whether, yep, yeah, this, is, this is the one, um, or whether there are other better alternatives out there. So uh, let me know if you have any suggestions for me. My next nail art favourite is Angel Papers and these I've had, I can't even tell you how many years I've had Angel Papers for. Um, they just go on forever. Um, I bought these ones from Gemma Lambert's nail team years ago and like I say they are still going strong. Um, I've got five different colours. I've got a pink one, a blue one, um, this one is kind of like an, just an iridescent, so it kind of looks a bit clear, but it shimmers lots of different blues and greens and golds. Um, it's definitely more on the green side, whereas this one is an iridescent one, but it's more on like the pinky gold. And then I have this one, which is like a coral color that shimmers pink, purple, gold. Um, they're just really, really nice. If you haven't used Angel Papers before, 
they're really versatile you can use them in different ways i like to chop them up into small pieces and place them individually onto the nail um but world your oyster um but they do lots of different colors and they're all the colors are transparent so depending on what color you put them over the top of depends on the effect that they will create um and they're just again one of those where they go in the drawer i forget about them for probably a year and then um i suddenly think oh i'll use that today and then i probably use them for the next month as i did with july <laughs> Another product that has kind of escaped my attention for probably the last two years <laughs> um, and that I've just kind of rediscovered again is the little um, holographic hexagon shape. So these ones are from a American brand called Artelio. Um, those of you who've followed me for a really long time <laughs> um, will know that actually I sold these in the uk for a little while um i was obsessed with all their glitters and like nail art things um before discovering obviously glitter gels uh, but these are a little bit different they're little shapes that you can place individually onto the nail and i just love them they're so shiny they're so sparkly if you love anything shiny and sparkly then give them a whirl um there probably is something in the uk that's similar i don't know um but i will link these down below because this is what i have um and they've they stay shiny they don't dull you just need to make sure that you seal them in properly with gel over the top so that they um they don't catch and then come off so definitely put them underneath your builder layer of gel and then last of all, my random favourite for the month. Last month, my kind of extra favourite was my trolley. I'm still loving that. Um, but I thought, well, why not put in like a bit of a random favourite for the month? So um, this month's random favourite is my Hydrate Mate bottle. I've actually got two of these because they did them on a buy one. This one was a freebie um so it was basically buy one get one free and i've had one before and they really really helped me drink more water uh, and then that one the straw bit broke and i then didn't replace it because they're not the cheapest bottles uh so i've been keeping my eye out for ages for a really good discount code or something like that and this popped up actually when we were coming back from London that this one was a freebie. So I thought, brilliant, this is like the perfect time, especially with the hot weather. Um, if anyone is like me when you're working, it's really hard to remember to drink water because it's in a glass, you down it. And then before you know it, it's been like another couple of hours. You've not refilled your glass and um you're not drinking enough. So this is ideal because you've got the flip top cap, which means that the dust isn't getting into the water and it just means that you're remembering to drink. It's got the times on here. So you're supposed to get through two of these a day. Although to be honest with the weather the way it is at the minute, I've been drinking probably three minimum of these a day. Um, but like I say, I probably wouldn't be drinking that much if I didn't have this bottle. So it's made a massive difference to me. Um, and they might not be the cheapest, but I definitely think that they are worth the money. And that is it for my favorites for July. So uh, we are now into August. This is crazy. Um, I don't really know where the year is going, but um, there will be some more favorites coming next month if you are interested. Um, and there is going to be, I'm not sure when this is going to be up um, because I am now filming this. I'm just about to leave the studio for my week off. Uh, for my holiday so i don't know when this is actually gonna be edited and put up um but i've got a few videos that i haven't yet posted due to like uh, internet problems and stuff i had a bit of a technology disaster but um it's all it's all coming together now so hopefully that'll be the last bit and uh hopefully i'll get this july favorites up before the end of august that would be uh an achievement <laughs> but uh anyway i'm going to stop rambling on as i normally do um thank you so much for watching again make sure you like and subscribe for more soon 
Make sure you hit the bell as well because um, if you don't get notifications, you don't always see it in your subscription feed. So um, I really, really appreciate um, you hitting that bell and getting those notifications for my videos. So um, thanks for watching guys. Thank you for all the positive comments on last month's favorites. And I hope you enjoy this month's as well. And I will see you in my next one. Cheers guys, bye. Those ladies that bear with me. Oh. <laughs> I just had a panic attack because I couldn't see Winnie outside the door, but she's tucked around the corner. Oh. <laughs> right, back to it. <laughs> um, my next nail art favourite are it. <laughs> And then last of all, my random favorite for the month last, last year, last year, last month, <laughs> um, I'm, don't even know what I'm saying.